And this afternoon, both teams 1-0, but the Kent State Golden Flashes have won six of seven, and today they get the shot at the big boys. The big story in Columbus, Maurice Claret, has this young man's performance against Texas Tech created unequaled expectations at the most exquisite spot? Buckeyes knocked off at Texas Tech, 45 to 21. This football game is underway, and the kick is going to be taken about two yards deep in the end zone. And Kent State, great job of bouncing off the would-be tacklers up over the 12-yard line last year. Over 1,500 yards passing. First play from scrimmage, and they keep it on the ground. Antonio King, who ran back the kickoff, is up over the 15-yard line. And you look at the starting lineups uh, for the Golden Flashes. You see Beckles, Newton, Robinson, Dowry, and Herb. Now, Charles Newton, the fullback, only got five carries last week, but he averaged over five yards a pop. As Andrews, Surrett, Smith, Jamison, Rakowski. Smith back in the starting Position. He's the only one on the starting front that played his position from a year ago. So they've been doing some switching up front. Gain of two on the first. It's second down and eight now for the Golden Flashes. And here's Cripps rolling out, and he's going to be run down. Now we take a look at the National City Bank uh, starting defensive fronts for the Buckeyes. Will Smith, he said he toyed with people during the spring. And you have Grant, Wilhelm, and Reynolds. Matt Wilhelm, the middle linebacker, did not start against Texas Tech. He had the reconstruction with the ankle, but he's feeling fine. Fox, Nikki Doss, and McNutt. Nikki, a four-year starter for the Buckeyes. So the Golden Flashes now facing third down, eight yards to go. Cribs goes upstairs. He has his man. He dropped the football at the 28-yard line. Back in Florida at Bluefield South High School. And the kick is blocked. The Buckeyes get the first turnover. It's rolling at about the 25, up to the 30. And the Buckeyes will open up this football game with fantastic field position. Krenzel, 11 of 14, 118 yards, no touchdowns in the opener against Texas Tech, but they really kept it on the ground against Texas Tech. And his first pass is complete. And it's Maurice Claret coming out of the backfield to make the catch. And the starting lineups now for the Buckeyes. Uh, Claret with 175 yards in the opener. Michael Jenkins, uh, he's in the class with Charles Rogers. Some of the best receivers in the Big Ten up front. It's Douglas Stafford, Stavanovich, Bishop, Olivier. Nikki and Doss will be the captains throughout the year, and Jim Tressel will name different offensive captains throughout the campaign. Keep it on the ground, Claret, and he's hit at about the 20. And the Kent State's Roy Atia, 310 pounds. He's a senior and a three-year starter. He's the strongest guy on that defensive front. Eric Maul takes over the middle. Enriquez, their leading tackler, was injured last week. And you have Baum, Davis, Avery, and Dyer. Jacon Avery with his 24th start. He's the big hitter and a key player in that run support for Kent State. Krenzel out of the shotgun, going upstairs, and it's a great stab that time by Ben Hartsock. Hartsock had the one-handed catch against Texas Tech. And you look at the numbers in the red zone. They're perfect. Four chances, four scores. Claret with the cutback at the five. He's down to the two-yard line. First and goal, ball resting at the two. And the give is to Claret. Claret powers his way in for the touchdown. And the Buckeyes are on the board first. I'm talking about a guy, only a freshman, but he runs like a senior. You know, when you have a guy with that kind of power that can do what he did, I mean, he just tramples over people. Including a 45-yard field goal, and Nugent drives her right down the middle of the highway. So at 12 16 to go the Buckeyes draw first five plays 31 yards Claret with a two yard touchdown and the Buckeyes lead it seven zip over Kent State. Here is a back and he said I'll leave it up to you guys to decide who my best runner is. <laughs> Antonio King ran the last one back and Nugent drives this one out of the back of the end zone. So Joshua Cribs working from his own 20 yard line this time. Shotgun and. He's got the completion up near the 28. Out of the shotgun again for Joshua Cripps. Reynolds showing blitz, drops back, and they keep it on the ground. This is Beckles, his first carry up near the 30-yard line. Up there. Antonio King more because he's a bigger back against the Buckeyes. Third and just inches, and Cripps up over the 30 for the first down for Kent State. Well, Cripps, the first freshman ever in Division 1A to run for 1,000 and pass for 1,000. They keep it on the ground. Eddie Beckles is tied up by a host of red jerseys. Beckles. Over 100 yards last week, two carries, no yardage so far, and there's some movement. Tackle jumped. 
Offense. Offense. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Still second now. 2002 season. Out of the shotgun. Cribs to his left. Fires it downfield. Overshoots. Picked up. It's Dawes. At the 30. A lot of green in front. 20. 10. Dawes has taken it in for the touchdown. 45 yards. On the return of the interception, and the Buckeyes are on the board again. He can do it all. We talked about his presence. He can do it all. He can do it in the run game. He can do it in the passing game. Back on the field. He's perfect on the year. Two for two this afternoon. And the Buckeyes open up a two-touchdown lead with 9.21 to go in the first quarter. Mike Doss, the two-time All-American, with a 45-yard touchdown. And the Buckeyes are up by two touchdowns. Out of the end zone for the second straight time by Nugent. So Nugent had his Wheaties this morning. College football season. That's more in motion and Cribs right up the middle. A little misdirection. He's up to the 25. All about 70 yards so he can extend the defense. But uh, he fumbles the snap in the shotgun. He keeps it and he's up over the 25. 16th play all in Kent State territory so far this afternoon. Out of the shotgun again. And Cripps sees an opening and he'll take it. He's up near the 30 yard line. So Fritz, who averaged about 48 last week, he gets off a good one and Gamble's back to his 15, but he has some running room. And Gamble uh, goes down shy of the 25 yard line. Up 14 to nothing already over Kent State. It's a perfect time to work on some things and moving the football. Prior to the snap, offside, defense. So Five Alan Williams penalty. jumped, but he. Second and one for the Buckeyes after the penalty. Krenzel's going to air it up, and he has Gamble over the 40 inside the 35-yard line. Got Chris Carter characteristics, and you compare him to Terry Glenn. He was a pretty big-time receiver. Krenzel keeps it himself. He's inside the 30. So the Buckeyes are moving the chains up 14 to nothing, and it's Hall turning the corner. There's the green. He cuts it back. He's taken at the distance. Another touchdown, the Buckeyes, Maurice Hall out of Brookhaven High School. And that's his first touchdown of the 2002 campaign. Maurice Hall put it a bit, he said. Nugent, six for six last week, or in the first game, I should say. He's three for three here this afternoon. It's 21 0 for the Buckeyes. He put the last two. Out of the end zone, Antonio King would love to bring one back, and he's halfway back. He goes down on a knee, and we're going downstairs. They'll use uh, just one clock on the far scoreboard. They'll ignore the other clock. It's Cripps play action. Not too much room as he's going down. But now instead of 10, it's second and 13 for the Golden Flashes. Straight drop this time, and there's the pressure again. Buckeyes all over the Golden Flashes. Boss hits like that all the time. Cripps is no way. Uh -oh, I'm going to take out. it myself. Look There's out. a man room. He's up near the 40, over the 40, up near the 45-yard line. So the way he can cause havoc by tucking it, as we just saw there, the 27-yard game. Beckles with the call, and he's going down quickly. So with Jim bringing up about the heat down there, let's see how that affects him later on. He's, he's taking a lot on the corner as well himself. A little shovel pass inside, and it's Beckles going down to the 45. Twin receivers, top of your screen. Another third down, third and 10 for Cripps and company. His left fires. He's got the ball and dropped it at the 40-yard line. Illegal formation on the offense. They only had six men on the line of scrimmage at snap. The penalty is going to be declined. Fourth down. In the first quarter, we'll get the football once again. And this kick not quite as long. Doss comes up at the 22. And a two-yard cushion was violated there, so the penalty flag is dropped. Violation of the two-yard radius. On the kickers. Ten-yard penalty in the spot of the foul. For the Buckeyes, Clarence in motion. And Krenzel goes up and finds Gamble. Over the 40, dropped at about the 46-yard line. Well, the Buckeyes uh, rushing for 317 yards against Texas Tech. Krenzel was 11 of 14, 118 yards. Didn't hurt the Buckeyes, but didn't have a great passing game. But he's coming out now. He has yet to throw an incompletion. That's Jenkins, the most experienced in the nation. 97 career starts combined out of a possible 132 in the last three years. But Krenzel... Getting it done through the air as his man again. And is this one caught or dropped? Grenzel now 7 for 7, 88 yards in the first quarter. Second and one again. Claret will have the first down. 
Hicks skips over the line of scrimmage down near the 20. And we played 15 minutes of football here from the horseshoe. 15 minutes, three touchdowns for the Buckeyes. It's been all Ohio State here in the first quarter. 21 nothing. Buckeyes on top. No question about it. A lot of fun. Misdirection. This one's complete to Jenkins. Nah, down near the 10 yard line. Boy, I'll tell you, the young man shows up on campus uh, early for spring practice, the first game, a lot of anticipation. Correct, what he'll do, and he explodes for 175 yards. His best leader on the field last year, but he was a freshman. The older guys didn't want to listen to him. Claret with the swing. Claret dives close to the touchdown. He's in for the touchdown, his second of the afternoon. Not only does he run, he flies, this guy. <laughs> He can run. He, he can, can jump. He can jump. What else you want him to do for you, ladies and gentlemen? Six for six in the first game, and now Mr. Nugent is four for four today. Kick is good. 13.57 to go before halftime in Columbus. It's 28-0. Buckeyes on top. You're watching Big Ten football from ESPN Plus. So they have not run a third down play, Ohio State. That's incredible. Are definitely going your way. Huh? Antonio King wanted to run it out, but uh, Daryl Moore says, now go down on one knee. Look. Looking right, coming back left. Uh, heavy pressure by Tim Anderson. There's Will Smith chasing him with C. Grant, and he wisely throws the incomplete pass. Pass interference on the offense. Half the distance from the 20 yard line, still first down. As the numbers on the scoreboard indicate. First and 20 now, they keep it on the ground. Antonio King out of North Carolina spins his way up over the 15-yard line. A.J. Hawk, the young freshman, linebacker on the field now for Trestle, as is E.J. Underwood, another rookie for the Buckeyes. This one's a complete. Oh, I'll tell you, Buckeyes got the football, and he's hit immediately by A.J. Hawk. 583 times. Illegal substitution on the offense. They broke the huddle with 12 men. Five-yard penalty, still third down. Now it's third and eight for Cripps again. Twin receivers to the top. Cripps is going to keep it. Whoa. Great pursuits by the Buckeyes. Actually. Plenty of opportunities. He gets this one off. It's a short kick. Goes off the side of his foot. Out of bounds. Inside Kent State territory again. It's Eddie George. And uh, McMullen fumbles his first snap. And he gets it to Lydell Ross. And Ross tries to turn the corner. But he's... Dragged down. Brandon Joe, uh, this is his first action uh, in the backfield uh, for the Buckeyes at fullback. He was suspended for the first game. But Mullen wants to air it out, looking and uh, finding Jenkins inside the 25 yard line. Jones Mullen completes uh, his first for 18 yards. And the Buckeyes on the move again. First down with Mullen, straight drop. Looks out and overshoots Hamby, the tight end. And again, that's what friends are hitting 11 to 14 in the first game. At 14, there's Gamble. He spins away. Finally goes down. Well, that block punt definitely set the tone for Ohio State. They put Kent State their backs against the wall. A little misdirection. Uh, Jenkins had it. He dropped it. This one will be from 40. And uh, last year, 7 of 14, the Buckeyes were the second worst field goal kicking team in the Big Ten Conference. And this kick is up. And it's right down the middle. So Nugent. Four for four on extra points. Drives home a 40-yard field goal. 9.05 to go before halftime. It's 31 nothing, Buckeyes. Antonio King has uh, been dying to run one back. Marlboro Maryland at Dunbar High School. A fake to the outside. Goes up and tries to hurdle. And sign number 42, Bobby Carpenter, the other freshman linebacker, in on the action as well. Cripps. Simon Frazier gives chase, and this one's almost picked. That's going to affect the quarterback's confidence, especially if you're not used to throwing it. Inside the numbers, three of nine, 20 yards, and an interception. Cripps will keep it, try to cut it up inside, shy of the 30 yard. So Cripps working with the first down again. Heavy pressure by Ohio State. A.J. Hawk on the blitz, almost got him. They were mean. Nice. Ran sideline to sideline, and they like to hit people. This one's picked. It's Hawk. A lot of green. Penalty flag down, but Hawk's going to take it in. For the touchdown, penalty marker back at the 32-yard line.
The 6'2", 230 pound freshman out of Centerville. Off the field, very, very Legal slow. formation on the offense. They only had six men on scrimmage the snap. That penalty is going to be declined. Touchdown. Nugent's a perfect in the extra point department. Has a 40 yard field goal and tack on another PAT. 7.31 to go before halftime. The Buckeyes up 38 to nothing. The freshman linebacker, A.J. Hawk, flies into the end zone. You're watching Big Ten football from ESPN+. Plus. Interception returned by A.J. Hawk. And this one will go to Antonio King again, but again, he's deep. This time he's going to bring it out. King at the 10, 15, over the 20. And he's close to the 30-yard line. I think he might have stepped out of bounds at about the 25 in game number one. Cripps is back on the field, and he has some green. Up over the 35 to about the 36-yard line. Well, Cripps now 10 carries, 62 yards. Here's the pitch. Here's King trying to turn the short corner. He's over the 40. It's a bit of a mistake. He might be tugging on the coach's jersey saying, Oh, yeah. Hey, let me in, coach. Although, when you look at the scoreboard, maybe he doesn't want to. Antonio King over the 45. On Jim Dressel. There's some miscommunication. Cripps spins, and he's in the Buckeye territory. And I mean, this is your biggest offensive weapon. King. A.J. Hawk is out there. Smart thing to do. That's Daryl Polk, the six foot sophomore out of Deerfield, Florida. And that's King with the ball again. And King for Kent State's uh, number two rushing team uh, in the back last year. And as uh, Al pointed out, the 15th best rushing team in the country. This drive started at the 25 yard line, and that's Dowry Jr. So Polk will drop back with the shotgun for the first time since he took over. Beckles with the call, and second and 11 for Polk and the Golden Flash. It goes upstairs, and it's knocked down Simon Frazier. Ohio State is just so balanced. They, don't, they can do pretty much what they want to do. Play action. Cripps rolling to his right. Chase Frazier goes upstairs, and it's knocked down. Play. Just at the last second, he their defense off the field. Uh, this drive started from the 25. Cribs goes upstairs looking and this oh. is it the touchdown? Oh, yes. Yes. The shutout is gone. And it's Daryl Moore. The 5'11 junior out of Ohio. So long. 28 yards for the touchdown, and the golden flashes are on the board. Oh my goodness. Extra point try with 3.11 to go before the half. And he is successful. One thing, one thing you can look at can say, at least they didn't get goose egg. All and Doss, the deep end for Ohio State. This one's going to go to Maurice Hall. Two yards deep in his end zone. He'll take it out. Over the 15, and he will not make it to the 20. Four start last year. They win five out of six, and they won two out of three against the Tri Champs in the Western Division. At quarterback, placing Frenzel. Early in the second quarter. Hall, the runner out of Brooking. Turns it back upfield, still on his feet. Gives up the football. That's what Kent State needs, and it's Golden Flash ball. So Cribs with the football again. Turns it up, and he's hit by Reynolds. Push it, but Cribs, who is hurting and frustrated, all of a sudden they get a couple of touchdowns on the board. You can get your second win in a hurry. Antonio King, he's wrapped up. Uh, Cribs, straight drop, fires it up, and it's complete. Shy of the 20 of Big Ten football in a four or five year stretch. Cripps rolls to his left, puts it up, and McNutt chases it on his 21st birthday. 42 seconds to go before halftime. Shotgun looking, looking, going over the middle. He has his man in it. So Cripps looking to his right. It's complete, and it's Dowry, his high school teammate, inside the 10. First and goal. Cribs from the shotgun. 31 seconds. Plus from the pocket. Reynolds giving chase. And this one all around is a touchdown. Antonio King got to the back of the end zone and no one picked him up. That's what running quarterbacks can do for you. You know, now the crowd, you know, they have the little crowd right in the front. You saw that. Bailey gets his second PAT. Just start running. Tackle him high. And Doss uh, with the kick, the short kick. He's uh, shy of the 30 yard line, 38 to 14. A lot of inches. McMullen select quarterback. And Maurice Hall finds the hole. No, that's Lytle Ross over the 35 yard line. That'll be the final play of the 
first half here from the Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio. The Battle of the Buckeye States as Ohio State opens up a 38 to nothing lead. Craig Krenzel having a big first half before giving away to Scott McMullen. But Kent State with the last two touchdowns of the first half. So it's 38 to 14. And uh, climbing back into this one, but with the 38 to nothing deficit, is it too much against the Big Ten team? At the five yard line, it's Gamble. Gamble looking for that wedge. He finds an opening, and he's still on his feet over the 35 yard line. But they finished winning five of the last six ball games to finish six and five. Maurice Hall back there, but Krenzel was nine for nine. He's now 10 for 10 as Gamble gets it down into Kent State territory. As Al mentioned, uh, yet to throw an incomplete ball. Claret with the call, breaks to the outside, and oh. he cuts it back in. Oh, he cuts on a dime. He's at the 25, dropped at the 21 yard line. As he remains in the ball game, and he gets the call. And he's inside the 20, down near the 16 yard line. Claret running in the eye again. And his fullback, and Claret tries to reverse his field. Opening possession, second half here from Columbus, and the freshman gets the call. There you go. And he is met immediately by Jeff Jensen. Ball is spotted. Nugent with the kick. And he's got it. So tack on a 32-yard field goal. First possession results in points for the Buckeyes. 11.49 to go. 41-14. Oh, Ohio State. On Saturday afternoon, everyone's at the stadium and watching the ball game, but uh, Pretty populated on a weekday afternoon. Kick to Antonio Kang. He returned the last one 25 yards, but he's going to have another touchback. They play well, and Ohio State plays well. We'll lose. If we play well and they struggle, uh, we could uh, knock off the Buckeyes. Well, they came in the game. Uh, Fred Puckett, of course, won this high school ball in Dublin. His dad now with the Raiders. Looking right, coming back on the left side. This one's complete to Moore again. So, so win against New Hampshire. Moore didn't have any receptions. Here they keep it on the ground. It's Eddie Beckles. And he has a big gainer. He's a uh, bigger, more powerful back. Fake and Chris is going down at the line of scrimmage. Very solid football player, but again looking for the breakout year. Cripps rolls to his right, leaves the pockets, and just gets it off in time, and the ball falls incomplete. So Cripps, who averaged 6.2 yards a carry last year as a freshman, goes upstairs and oh, yeah. penalty flag as Richard McNutt. It looked like a great defensive play. First Ohio State. That's interference. Penalty. On a defense, spot foul, automatic, first down. Resting at the 45-yard line of Ohio State. And the inside run, it's Beckles again. And DP is waiting for his quarterback to break another one. Shovel! Shovel pass, Beckles dropped the football, it's an incomplete pass. Keeping that defense off the field here in Columbus. Giving them a breather. Some stunning in the trenches, and Goss comes up and makes the pop. Long of 56 this afternoon. This is a high spiral kick going inside, and it's going to hit the end zone. So the Buckeyes will start from the 20. Krenzel in at quarterback, 80 yards away from pay dirt. So Krenzel having a big afternoon for the Buckeyes. 41 points on the board. Over the middle, and it's Krenzel to Gamble again. And Gamble, Florent the single back, and Krenzel going for the home run ball. Oh, just a half a millisecond late earlier in the ball game for the first for the Buckeyes. Took a great. There's a fumble. So Hall and Claret have each coughed up the football, and that's what Kent State was waiting for. Kent State football at the 41 yard line of Ohio State. Trailing 41 to 14 with the football. Cuts it back, and he is met by Fred Puggett Jr. Cribs. Runner up for the back freshman of the year last year. Wow, nice uh, execution that time. But Big Will Smith says that's as far as you're going, big guy. Win over Texas Tech. Third and five. They go upstairs, and it's almost picked off by the Heisman candidate, Richard McNutt. And trying to make it three for three. There's some pressure. Scott rolling out of the pocket, and he puts it up, and it's caught. It's going to be offensive yeah. pass interference. Yeah. It this, what we saw, you and I both saw it at the same time they were battling. Pass interference on a defense. Penalty to be inclined. Enough yardage. First down. So Antonio King has a little opening. He's inside the 15. Again, working out of the shotgun. Joshua Cripps. King inside handoff. Hits the line of scrimmage and tackles for loss. Matter of fact, he was the defensive player of the game. Here's Cripps trying to find some room. And he's inside the 10 yard line. But mainly in high school at 29 field goals, seven were 50 or longer. And 
This one's partially blocked. You can hear it up here, and it's no good. It was Matt Wilhelm getting in there and getting the deflected kick. I formation for Ohio State. It's the freshman Glenn. Grenzel having a big day for the Buckeyes. Looking downfield, finds his man. It's Drew Carter. Now Carter was projected to be a starter at one point. Ohio State. First and 15 now for the Buckeyes. That's Gamble in motion towards the top of your screen. Grenzel steps up in the pocket nicely, eludes the rush, and he gets up to the 20 yard line. Inside, two minutes to go now. Grenzel going for the home run ball, looking for Jenkins, and Jenkins, what a catch inside the 35. There was some bumping and shoving going on. I mean, that is just a beautiful play, what he made right there. And you're talking about over. So the Buckeyes are on the move. Claret, the young freshman inside the 30 yard line, puts his head down, shy of the 25, but 118 yards last week. Uh, he wanted to see if he could extend that defense a little, and he's proven he can do that here today. Paul trying to turn the corner, a host of white jerseys. Yep. He's playing a good football game here today. Renzel again. Two step and he's looking for Jenkins and Jenkins wasn't quite ready. As quarter number three have expired. We're going to take a break. We're back with quarter number four after this. Nugent on the kick. Ball will rest at the 35 or place. It'll be a 45 yard kick. He kicked the 45 yarder last week. It's Texas Tech two weeks ago I should say. And Nugent has his second 45 yard field goal of the season. His third field goal of the afternoon. So with 14.56 to go in the ballgame, it's 44-14, Buckeyes, a bite, and you're not going to get into a comparison about the SEC and the Big Ten or Georgia versus Ohio State. So I won't even go into that, uh, right, that territory. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, Karen Holbrook, the, the new president at the Ohio State University from the University of Georgia, now in Big Ten country this afternoon. They swing it out into the flats. And he gets up to about the midfield strike. As of yet, Buckeyes opening up a 38-0 lead. 21 of the 38 points in the first quarter, but 3,000 in high school and 1,100 receiving yards as well. This one out in the flat, and it's complete. That's given a lot of confidence in the passing game. Beckles cuts back. His eighth carry here this afternoon. This time out of the shotgun. Cribs, that was a run from the outset inside the 25, and Cribs average that he had in the carries. Cribs again going upstairs inside the 15 yard line. In the red zone Beckles gets the call. Gets the line of scrimmage. And there's still 10 minutes to go. Ooh. Cribs took off and he hit the line of scrimmage. They are perfect. Three for three on fourth down against the Buckeyes today. And Cribs is written down by Mike Doss just shy of the 10 yard line. Yes, uh, Chris from the shotgun formation. back draw. Nice tackle. Mr. Day and Steve Stamp, the media relations director here at Ohio State, said, hey, those linebackers we have are pretty good. Cripps then trying to get some more points for the Golden Flash. He's going upstairs. And he overshoots. Build some momentum for the next week. Well, Maley will try the 33-yarder for Kent State. Again, keep the money at 7 and 50 or more in high school. This one. His last uh, attempt was blocked by Wilhelm. This time he drills it through. So we're going to take a timeout. There's the numbers. We're back right after this. The redshirt freshman's back along with Maurice Hall. And it's going to be Hall about six yards deep in the end zone. He thought about it. He stopped and he decided to take it out anyway. He tries to turn the corner. And I don't think he's going to get it to the 20. That's how much I know. He's up to the 30. You're right. <laughs> Saying that afterwards, too. But I mean, it, it was really frustrating because the team gets out there and you drive all the way down the field and you can't convert extra points. It was abysmal last year. Gesser and the Cougars coming into the horseshoe next week. That should be a good one. Ross again. Coming to midfield strike. Vincent. They can contend for the Big Ten without question. McMullen at quarterback now. And he's way shy of five. Jaja Riley checks in his first uh, action. As a buck after red shirt, that's Ryan Hamby with. Going to the backs in the flat. Jaja Riley, his first carry as a Buckeye. Of course, the field position. Ball start. Offense. Five yard penalty. 
Still first down. Any eye, Jaja Riley. McMullen wants to put it up in the air, and he has his man. It's complete to Van Childress. Jaja Riley still waiting for his first carry, and here it comes. Riley cuts it back, and he goes down hard. Talked about it earlier in the broadcast here at Ohio State. They've had a long, long line of tailbacks. Drew Carter cuts inside the 20 down to the 18. And one time he was projected as a starter, so he's got some skills. Jaja Riley trying to dance and nowhere to go. He's wrapped up by a host. These guys do not quit. They play to the whistle blow. Play action to Lytle Ross going into the end zone, looking for Drew Carter, some miscommunication. And Ohio State's only scored six, and it's almost the end of the game. Fourth and two for the Buckeyes. McMullen going over the middle. This is Tyler, it's going to be another touchdown. This one, Ryan Hamby. The redshirt freshman out of Moeller High School in Cincinnati has his first touchdown as a Buckeye. Oh, Ohio State broke that tendency. <laughs> <laughs> Hamby is a big fella, too. 6'5", 240 pounds, freshman. Season as the head coach. Nugent again, he's perfect. Drills it through the uprights. But Jim Trestle telling us yesterday that uh, he's not so sure the Buckeyes should be the favorite in the Big Ten. Ryan Hamby gets his first touchdown, and the Buckeyes now have 51 points on the scoreboard. It's at 72, nothing one over Pittsburgh way back in September of 1996. Still four minutes to go. Antonio King, the deep man. He's had a couple of chances to bring it back. Weaves his way through traffic up near the 20 yard line. No, actually. Actually, 95. Was that you see? Yeah. Right? So that was your after. Matter of fact, I think that was a team that. Uh... And they finished 11 and 1 that year. Who did they lose? We won't talk about that. Yeah. I don't remember the linebacker's name. Rogers? Yeah, undersized linebacker. Very quick. And that plays from Miami. That one's uh, complete once again to Ray Camp. So out of this uh, Ohio Stadium, they go into the Mid-American Conference. They could have another fine season. Oh, I think so. You know the thing I like about what's happened in this game for Kent State? Carry by Charles Newton. Haven't heard his number name called much. Uh, Newton again with the spin. It's a good defensive club here in Columbus. Polk, and that quarterback, fires, and it's incomplete. Played a lot of Joshua Cribs on the scout team this week, trying to give the Buckeyes and then back here with the Buckeyes as the head man. Taking over for John Cooper, who won a lot of football games here in Columbus. Kent State will fall to 1-1. One one. The Buckeyes will go to 2-0 oh with that big game of the Cougars of Washington State coming up. Holy had the ball, and he was drilled by Nate Sally, the freshman out of Fort Lauderdale. Football, though. One of those great athletes out of Florida. There's tons of them. Now the big fullback, Newton, uh, shy of the 30, but... Uh, Newton, the big fullback, runs into a sea of red. Simon Frazier in there on the play for the Buckeyes. Leading the charge. So Dean Pease goes back to Kent State, talk his team into another fine season, mid-American football, but they go down today here in Big Ten country, losing at 51 to 17 to Ohio State. We'll be back with our final thoughts coming up after this.